Uh, very excited to uh, be back today, talking with a very talented young man, uh, DB, Advanced High School. Um, he's done a great job, you know, throughout his career so far. Of course, he's a rising senior, and that's what we're featuring right now, our um, unsigned seniors that are looking for a place to play on the next level. Um, he's been to our camps before and done a great job, he's been uh, one of the uh, best DBs at our camps, and I'm glad to uh, bring him on today. And that's Lee Campbell uh, from the Vance Cougars. How are we doing today, sir? I'm good. I hope everybody's doing well. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, so first of all, you know, I think you're very talented. I think you're under the radar. Um, you know, I'm kind of surprised at, you know, the way, you know, recruiting is going for you right now. But first thing I want to ask you is, in your opinion, what are your, are, what are your strengths as a player on the football field? On the football field, one of my biggest strengths, I think all the coaches say is, like, I'm really physical. Like, I'll hurt somebody. Like, not even to be, you know, violent, but when I play, I'm definitely physical. I'm fast. I play fast. Um, I don't really think, like, if, if I see the ball, I go after the ball. That's one big thing about me. Uh, I'm really athletic. I'm fast on the field. And those are, like, the main things with me. And that's why it's best for me to be a strong safety, why all the coaches put me a strong safety, because I can make plays on the field and in the run game. I definitely agree. I think I I, I think you shared a picture with me uh, from, you know, when I was promoting you for the first camp, and you, like, flipped some dude on a tackle. Oh, I yeah. think from Independence or something. Yeah. I mean, what is it like when you're making uh, those kind of physical plays? What does it do for you, you know, mentally and uh, emotionally on the field? Well, you know, with football, it's not – I'm not just playing it to play. When I play football, that's just – that's my love. Like, I love football. And, you know, one thing I love about football the most is the contact. And football is not football without no contact. Like, I can play seven-on-seven seven all day, but I miss pads. I miss hitting. It's just when I, when I hit somebody, slam somebody – talk to somebody when I'm thinking I'm not really thinking I'm just stop them that's all I'm really thinking yeah you do a great job with that for sure man um so what are you looking for from a uh, college or university on the next level right now you know I don't want no coach to think I only want to go to school to play football I also want to you know become a good a good student as well I want to go to school for computer programming like the major computer programming because, you know, I always want to be in that little IT subject. But also, I want to go to a winning team. I think that's one thing. You know, being an East Mac, I'm tired of losing. I am. And when I go to college, I want to win. And I want good coaches that will help me bring out the best. Very good. I can respect that. Absolutely. It's good to know those kind of things that you're looking for because it's a place you're going to be for a long time. So it's got to be a, a, a really good fit. Um, that being said, in your opinion, why should a college give you a shot on the next level, give you an offer and, you know, consider attending? Well, the first reason is because I'm definitely a leader. You know, I pop in a, new, a different team. I play with different 7 on 7 teams and been that leader aspect on the defense every single time. Or, you know, I'm in, I'm advanced right now, and I'm just trying to get into a kind of a leader aspect. You know, it's already leaders there, but, you know, being a new senior, I got to take that standpoint. You know, being at a new college, I know I'm going to have to be a leader also. And I, my work ethic is also another reason I feel like any college coach to take me because I work every single day no matter what. I don't care if I never get comfortable. That's one thing. That, I, that I'll never lose. I don't get comfortable about anything. Those are good traits to have. Very good, good stuff. I'm going to bring in our player analyst, Justin Adams. And um, I'm going to ask Justin if he's got any questions for you before we move on to the, uh, looking at your film here. I know that you said you're not trying to be violent on the field, but you're talking about flipping people. That sounds kind of violent to me. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the thing, the thing with that is you – you really hurt somebody, you really come at them, yeah. they won't run like they ran anymore for the rest of the game. Yeah. That's, that's, what what Lynch, that's what Marshawn Lynch told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. All right. I'm ready to get to the film, man. I want to see this. 
All right, let's do it. All right, so we got, let's see what we got here. Strong safety slash half. You play some offense? Please? I did, but Coach Coach Shaw, the office coordinator, he was playing with me. And then uh, this year he was going to have me running all the time, but it was too late. Did you get in the okay. box? <laughs> did I get in the box? Yeah. Uh, I barely scoot it down. I scoot down sometimes, but usually I was too. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Did you score? A running back? No, because uh-huh. I only played running back like the first game. I got you. I got you. So you're a true safety. Okay. Yeah. But off when it comes to I mean, offense, look at this. Go ahead, Lee. When it comes to offense, it's just one of the little hidden things that I have. You know, I focus on gotcha. defense. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, you're looking at your sacks here. 85 plus tackles, one force fumble, six PBUs, and a sack. So, I mean, that's true strong safety stuff right there. You're all over the place. All right, let's see what we got here. It's against Barry. And that's the force fumble. Okay. All right, let's go back on this. All right, so right here at the snap, what are you thinking based on what your coach's game plan for Barry? Right now, my eyes are inside of two, and I, I was going to go to one, mm-hmm. but I, I peeked inside, saw the ball get handed off, and after that, I I didn't care about the receivers anymore. I I mean, the way you fly up from the opposite – yeah, from the opposite hash, that's the thing that gets me on this. I mean – this is a basically a little power play off the right side, and you get there. You're the first one there. You force the fumble and make a play for your team. So, I mean, that's awesome stuff, man. Yes, sir. That's one thing about the ball. Mm-hmm. You know, like you said, man, it's good pursuit. Uh, it's a way to attack the ball. You saw the play. You, you made it happen. So, uh, that's a great pursuit. Look real athletic. Uh, what's your 40? You look, you look pretty quick as well. I'll probably run the 40 on the 15th. I haven't ran the 40 okay. yet. All right. But I know I've gotten a lot faster since then. I'll definitely check back in on you on that. All right. We're going to let it play, and we'll go to the next one on this. But, hey, that's a great job right there. Appreciate that. All right. Same formation. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this. All right, so now we got a pass. So right there, what are we looking at right here, Lee? I'd have two to one. I see the two. Mm -hmm. He goes in a little bubble, so now my eyes go to one because, you know, I wouldn't cover the bubble. My eyes are on one to see if he goes vertical, but I see the QB pull the pin, he throws the ball, and then I'll push after it. Mm -hmm. So what's y'all's call on defense right here? Right now, it's it's it's. I think it was called Hawk. It was kind of like covered. It was basically covered, too. Okay. All right, cool. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, so there's a little mm-hmm. contact right there. <laughs> but we talk about you being physical, so this this is just a reflection of that right here. So you violent, come up. I mean, that's that's awesome right there. So let's go back. I mean, look look at where you're starting from. You're what is this? Ten yards off, and you stop this guy. He missed the tackle. He only gets three yard gain on a bubble screen where. You know, they had the leverage on you. So, Justin, what's your thoughts here? Uh, you pushed him down like he was lightweight. That's how you coming down? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> nah, it was, uh, like I said, another great play, uh, great pursuit. You came down and uh, you made the contact. You made the hit. Uh, definitely, yeah, I mean, uh, that's I, awesome stuff. Yeah, like I said, you, great play. Appreciate that. This this right here is one of my one of my PBUs during the season that I put on the highlights. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at it. This is against the Olympic. I was at this game. I remember this. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. So right on there. that play you got the uh the inside receiver, correct? Yeah. Right. He ran a slant and you know, you see that hole right there. Ain't nothing else there. I don't I'm pretty sure we weren't playing man, but he was open, like mm-hmm. wide open. All right, it's a good way to drive that slant, for sure. Yeah, this looks like straight man, right, Lee? Yeah, I'm pretty. It might. 
Nah, yeah, it was. But I saw how Don just started, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good job. And that's against the all-conference quarterback right there in Sean Bowles in Olympic as a playoff team. So that's good stuff right here. All right. So this one's against this is Myers Park. All right. So here we go. This is going to be good right here. On this day, right, so it was a missed call on the play. I was late coming to this side of the field, but I saw something. And I uh -huh. went okay. All right. Let's take a look at it. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So talk to us at the snap. What's going on here? At the snap, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the formation. Uh, my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm th I'm on three right now. So the the way my coach told yep. me to run it was I come I roll down I roll down to this side late and I watch three. Mm -hmm. So when I saw three, mm -hmm. he beat whoever I think that's Gabe. He beat him, and I saw the QB yep. pull the pin and I just went after it. Yeah, and I mean the, the timing on this is really impressive because you're getting there the same time Drake gets the ball there, so you you avoid the pass interference call, break up the play, and that's a good job all around. Appreciate that. All right, Justin, what what you think? Uh, I like I like your eyes on this. You know what I'm saying you shifted around, you saw the play, you you went back onto the to the other side of the field, and you made the play. So. David likes you know how to you know how yeah. to read the offense, so that's definitely a strength. Yeah, that's that was it's impressive because the fact that you're coming up and you've got strong safety responsibilities, but you've got skills we can already see to cover in man coverage. And I mean that's what you want out of your strong safety. The ability to be physical in the run game, but still be able to, you know, hold up in the pass game. And you're excelling at both of those, so that's great. All right, so we got a little different look here. Um, talk, take us through this one, Lee. This in this formation, I think this might have been Bear. I know this. This is just like we knew Butler was gonna do. This is Butler. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're gonna do nothing but run the ball. Yeah. So we were just trying to stop the run, mm -hmm. and I um I wanted to make sure nobody got outside of me, and I had cutback responsibility. So when he came through that hole, I just closed it up and made sure he didn't get past me. Yep, and you described that perfectly. I mean, look at that. That is great, great work right here. I mean, they've blocked it pretty well, but, you know, they leave. I'll tell you, as a former OC, we design plays to get one-on-one -on -one against a, a corner or a safety because we feel like as offensive coordinators, our offensive guys will beat a DB in these situations. But obviously that doesn't happen here. I mean, this is a great job. You keep outside leverage, as you say. You close the hole. You go make a, a good tackle right there for a minimal game. I mean, that's good stuff. All right, Justin, what you think? Like you said, man, he closed the hole. Uh, he came down the lane and he filled it. So that's what you look for as a, as a strong safety, somebody to come down and make the tackle and is not afraid to get in there. So that's what you did. So Yeah, that's, that's excellent. That's yeah. excellent. That's good stuff. All right. Let's um let's do this one. All right, Lee, what we got pre snap here? Mm -hmm. Pre snap, it looks like they got a wing to the left, so it's trips left. Um, I can't yeah. say what formation we're in because I don't remember this play. But if you play it, I, okay. think, I, I think I got you. All right, here we go. Here we go. So. This is just a chase down, and my eyes were straight at my man. So we must have been in man coverage. We we're either in man mm -hmm. coverage or we were in cover two. But I'm most, yeah. most likely we were in man coverage, and they just had to run. They had an open hole on the other side of the field, and I saw it, and I just ran. I tried to get them. That's the speed. I mean, I was that's great about. effort right there. That is great effort. I mean. The speed, yeah, but the effort is what I like. I mean, I see you and I see your teammate, Donovan Woods, another guy that we want to highlight at some point. I mean, that's what it's all about right there on the backside, chasing plays down. I mean, most most teams, that's a touchdown right there. You know, but, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. And I tell you, it's these kind of plays that, you know, stand out even more, you know, to me. 
you know, when looking at film and evaluating, you see the true heart and, you know, the true, you know, passion, you know, for someone right here in this. So, you know, great, great effort right here. Appreciate That's that. Good job. Let's do one. All right, let's do one more. Okay, this is against uh, Rocky River. Let's let it play. Let's see what we got. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, let's play. <laughs> oh, look, look. I, just, I ran and I. Mm. He thought he was getting in the box. I mean, phys the physicality is what I love here. I mean. We've already seen you, you know, demonstrate this a few times already. But I mean, it's not just made the ability to make tackles in the open field. It's the way that you bring, you know, the the pain on this. I mean, yeah. you can tell you're not afraid. Yeah, you're not afraid, and you know, as a strong safety, you know, at this level, that's rare. It's really rare, and um, you know, that's just awesome, man. Justin, what do you think here? Uh, I like how he's uh, coming down downfield full. So, like I said, the speed. I can tell you got the speed, man. Mm -hmm. and, and you're getting to the ball uh, with, with uh, relent relentless effort. You know what I mean? So I know that's what uh, Coach Force, he, he preaches over there, relentless effort, and that's what you're doing. That's what you've uh, been showcasing this whole time that you're at East Mac. So that's definitely uh, your strength right there. Like I said, look, you just come straight on the guy. The guy was going in for six, and you can't, he was running full speed as well. And – you came straight down and just knocked him off his track. So, sure. And that's that's what that's yeah, what that's Coach got me doing. Advance. He um right. he likes my physicality. He said, mm -hmm. "Don't don't lose it. He needs it." In the first game, going to Mallet Creek, I'm excited because I'm, I'm, I'm to do oh, the same man. thing. Yeah, I'm ready to see you play, man. I will have you on special team. Have every, every special team. I would definitely have you on as well, man, because we need they need people like that. That type of physicality on the uh, on every every team actually. So look forward to seeing you play on right, right, against Mallet Creek. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I'm just letting some of these other ones play because I just want to see what else we got. I mean, I just see physicality all over the board here. I mean, it's it's just a common theme right now. I mean, there's open field tackle. That's Davion Nelson, one of the best running backs in the area. Um, against Hickory Ridge. Look at that. Good gracious. <laughs> I mean, it, it's obvious. I mean, if you want a physical DB that has the ability to pass cover, come up and support in the run game. I mean, it's a prototypical strong safety here. I mean, it really is. Look at this. Keep him from the end zone on zone read. See, here goes your special teams right here, Justin. There you go. There you go. Yep. Right there in the middle. Not a lot of missed tackles from you, see? I see. So. That's good that you uh, they can make those open field tackles against those shifty athletic receivers and those slot guys. So that's definitely. So is this you running the ball right here? Yeah, this is like one of my only runs for the whole year. That was one of my only runs. Oh, you gotta, okay. You got to put that first on your highlight. You got to let them know, hey, I can run the ball too. <laughs> you <put> that first. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the blocks. So Oh, did, you, did you return as well, or that was uh, when I did? It wasn't nothing serious. Yeah, I see. Because I wasn't supposed to get the ball. So, so I'm gonna tell you, the special team stuff is really, really important because I mean, most college freshmen coming in are probably gonna be on the special teams. Right. You know, just just being honest, you know, and the fact that you're already doing it and you're willing to do it and you're willing to do it well speaks a lot you know for you lee so i really enjoyed watching that i really did i mean i, I know you're you're a, a really really good player but you know that that gives me a whole new you know respect for your game and your passion for the game and you know my, i i hope this really opens some more colleges eyes you know uh for you because i you can definitely play you can definitely play that ain't no doubt about that i appreciate that coach Absolutely. Justin, what's your final thoughts on this? Yeah, like I said, man, it's a relentless player right there. Somebody that you definitely want to have on your team if you're looking for a guy that's uh, just an energy boost or just anything that's going to get it done on special teams, defense side of the ball, whatever. I feel like, I feel like he could, he's a guy that you want to plug in your defense. Um, smart. It seemed like a smart kid. He went to East, went to East Mex, so I'm pretty sure he's smart. So 
when we had to go here. So <laughs> smart kid, uh, played under a, a great coach, Coach Forcey. Uh, just what's your thoughts on uh, Forcey right now? And uh, just, you know what I'm saying, with this situation and uh, – with you, with you, with you being under his defense and what you learned from him, just just go uh, talk, touch on that. My thoughts on first year, that's that's my co- that was my coach. Like more, even more than my coach. That's like not even I can't lie. He's one. Of, he was one of the father figures I had because even more than a coach, first year was just a great person. And you know, with the whole thing, he's got he's got a lot going on right now, and I know he'll get through it. You know, I send my parents out to him and his family, right. but Coach Forshee. He's a great coach. Cool, man. Cool. And well said. Well said. And uh, is there any schools you're particularly looking looking at, or right now? No, you said you uh, want to get into the IT. Is there anything that you uh... the the top schools like my top schools right now are I want to stay in North Carolina, so okay, that's, that's good. University of North Carolina, Charlotte, um, Western Carolina, uh. A and T definitely. I looked sure. at them, um, and it's a lot more. Like I'm looking at Concord University, you know, some D two schools, Wingate. You know, I got accepted over there. There's a lot of schools, especially in the area that I'm just looking at. Right. I'm just waiting for a chance. You know what I mean? Hey man, your time, your time is coming for sure. Your time is definitely coming. Right, let's keep up the good work. Keep working. Yeah. Uh, keep grinding. I see you. Uh, you've been working out with Coach James, right? Code, yeah. Yeah, Coach James beginning you right, man. So yeah, I see the good work he's been producing over there at uh, advancing with his uh D V group. So hey man, we'll definitely we're gonna definitely get this out of some colleges. Uh all college coaches, if you are looking right now, please take a look at Lee Campbell, man. He's a guy that you want on your team, special teams, defense, put him anywhere, he's ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Um no, I, I can I agree a hundred percent. Um Lee, I want to ask you one last question. You know, being with your skill set, being strong safety and your size, would you be open to bulking up and playing the outside linebacker position on the next level? The thing about that is, if it's if it's college, I'll play anything. You know, because of my dreams, I want okay. to college, I want to go to college for free. But if I'm talking to a college coach right now and he's listening to me, I believe that I'm way too athletic to be put in the box. I think when it comes to the safety and being back there, I got the ball skills, the speed, the athleticism, the the smarts to be one of the best safeties ever. Wow. I like that. I like that answer. He said, let him loose. He said, let him loose. Let him loose. (laughs) I feel that. Very confident. I I like that. I like that. And that's what, you know, I know some coaches will appreciate you know, that honesty and um, that confidence. So, uh, Lee, this is great stuff, man. Um, thank you for the time today. And, um, you know, we'll get this out, you know, very soon, you know, to a lot of different people, man. I appreciate that, Coach. For real.